Hey guys, what is up? This is Little Pack Knot, and today I'm going to be telling y'all the top 100 best saltwater reef fish. And not all of these are reef fish, as you can see the lionfish and dog face puffer, as well as frogfish behind me. But what I mean by this is top 100 saltwater fish that technically could go in a reef tank. And yeah, this is all personal opinion. Okay, I'm going to try and make this video 10 minutes or less in order to give y'all a very brief just list and then you can all search up and research the fish on your own so I just want to remind y'all that this is personal and without further ado let's get right into this video Remember guys, just one more thing before I go into the video. This is all personal opinion. So if I did you didn't agree with my list, that's fine. It's just ranked off seven criteria. It's a little bit biased because I've had some of the fish. I haven't had some of the fish. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you do enjoy this video. And lastly, I'll leave the link to the spreadsheet down below, which has all 100 fish and all the criteria. If I did anything just wrong, it'll be on suggesting mode for y'all so y'all can suggest and edit. So without further ado, all right. Coming in at number 100 is the flashlight fish. Coming in at number 99 is the purple tile fish. Coming in at number 98 is the chain link eel. Coming in at number 97 is the jackknife fish. Coming in at number 96 is the scarlet fin soldier. Coming in at number 95 is the Flame Hawkfish. Coming in at number 94 is the Parrotfish. Coming in at number 93 is the Dwarf Seahorse. Coming in at number 92 is the Dwarf Lionfish. Coming in at number 91 is the Mustang Seahorse. Coming in at number 90 is the Yellow Tang. Coming in at number 89 is the Vlamingi Tang. Coming in at number 88 is the Coral Croucher. Coming in at number 87 is the Red Tooth slash Niger Trigger. Coming in at number 86 is the Cuban Hawkfish. Coming in at number 85 is the Aptasia Eating Filefish. Coming in at number 84 is the Convict Tang. Coming in at number 83 is the Red Saddled Antheus. Coming in at number 82 is the Two Spot Tang. Coming in at number 81 is the Saltwater Leopard Puffer. Coming in at number 80 is the Coal Tang. Coming in at number 79 is the Blue Tang. Coming in at number 78 is the Tomini Tang. Coming in at number 77 is the Cowfish. Coming in at number 76 is the Mimic Tang. Coming in at number 75 is the Flame Angel. Coming in at number 74 is the Purple Tang. Coming in at number 73 is the Liretail Antheus. Coming in at number 72 is the Purple Queen Antheus. Coming in at number 71 is the Green Clown Gobi. Coming in at number 70 is the Sunset Antheus. Coming in at number 69 is the Engineer Gobi. Coming in at number 68 is the Fingered Dragonette. Coming in at number 67 is the Square Tail Tang. Coming in at number 66 is the Lemon Peel Angelfish. Coming in at 65, and one of my personal favorites, is the Melanurus Rass. Coming in at number 64 is the Cleaner Rass. Coming in at number 63 is the Black Clingfish, because of just how cute it is. Coming in at number 62 is the High Hat. Coming in at number 60 is 61 is the Rusty Angel Fish. Coming in at number 60 is the Cherub Angel Fish. Coming in at number 59 is the Falco Hawkfish. Coming in at number 58, and I kind of hate this one, is the Pajama Cardinal. 
Coming in at number 57 is the long nose Harkfish. In my opinion, it should be higher, but the list is what the list is, and the criteria is what the criteria is. Coming in at number 56 is the purple dotty back. Coming in at number 55 is the neon dotty back. Coming in at number 54 is the dispar antheus. Coming in at number 53 is the dragon face pipefish. Coming in at number 52 is the alligator pipefish. Coming in at number 51 is the raccoon butterfly fish. Coming in at number 50 is the valentini puffer slash saddle puffer. Coming in at number 49 is the Royal Grandma. Coming in at number 48 and is like less than an inch is the Yellow Cardinal. Coming in at number 47 is the Bicolor Angel. Coming in at number 46 is the Domino Damsel. Coming in at number 45 is the Six Line Wrasse. Coming in at, at number 44 is the Maroon Clown. Coming in at number 43 is the Orange Crosshatch Goby. Coming in at number 42 is the Lawnmower Blenny. Coming in at number 41 is the Frillfin Goby. Coming in at number 40 is the Dusky Jawfish. Coming in at number 39 is the Hybrid Cleaner Goby. Coming in at number 38 is the Harlequin Basslet. Coming in at number 37 is the Yellow Chorus Rass. Coming in at number 36 is the Sleeper Banded Goby. It's pretty cool. Cool than it looks like in the picture, and it does sift your sand, so it's very useful. Coming in at 35 is the Midas Blenny. Coming in at number 34 is the Black Cardinal. They are way better than they look in the image. Just gonna say that, and they're really cool fish. Kind of freshwatery, but I just, I, I personally really like it. Coming in at number 33 is the Firefish. Now, for me, these guys are always out. For some people, they're not, so really just depends what fish you get if they're like even on the top 100 list but when they are out they're very vibrant and very colorful especially the purple and hell fishy ones so there's that coming in at number 32 is the blade fin basslet coming in at number 31 is the pyramid butterfly fish coming in at number 30 is the chalk bass wanted one never ended up getting it i just personally grew off of it coming in at number 29 is the bicolor blenny Coming in at number 28 is the Yasha Shrimp Gobi. Coming in at number 27 is the Mystery Ras, and if you ask me, he is a, one of the coolest fishes I've ever seen. But, you know, it's just better in images, I guess, but some fish are better in person. Coming in at number 26 is the Line Spot Flasher Ras. I personally have one, and I really love him. He looks better than in the image, but, you know. Coming in at number 25 is the Bangai Cardinal, pretty cool fish, and they can kind of sort of do a schooling type thing if you're looking for that in your tank. I wouldn't recommend getting too many, um, they, they need a relatively small tank, but obviously multiple requires a larger tank, and they can be very aggressive towards each other and eat each other, but I have the experience that. Coming in at number 24 is the Candy Basslet, and this dude is so lackluster for the price, but you have to have it on this list because he is a very cool fish. I mean, like what, 800 something dollars for him? Um, definitely, in my opinion, not worth it, but it's because of how hard it is to attain them and bring them out of the water, like the uh, Peppermint Angel. Um, coming in at number 24 is, 23 is the Starry Blenny. Coming in at number 22 is the Striped Blenny. Coming in at number 21, and one of my personal favorites, this dude was a, a great addition to my tank. He was pretty small, but very cool in the end. So, I definitely recommend him to y'all, is the Watchman Gobi. Coming in at number 20 is the Green Chromis. They do have a tendency to have certain diseases. So, personally, I don't recommend them, but they do kind of school as well. I mean, a lot of um, damsel and cardinal type fish sort of school. And it's good additions to small tanks. Um, mono fish for big tanks do school. So yeah, there's that. I personally don't think it should be this high, but I might make an adjust adjusted list with like bias, you know, without the bias, like something that fixes that and change the amount it's weighted for each thing to make it fair. It'll be a much better list, but this is the top 100. Um, 
Coming in at number 19 is the Ruby Red Dragon. That personally, in my opinion, should be way higher. Really gets a dinged at the care level. I mean, that is almost impossible. Like these Ruby Red Dragonettes, uh, Green Mandarin type fish, they're very hard to care for. So that's why it gets dinged there. So that's that's why it's as low as it is. Otherwise, it would be a little bit higher, but that is what it is. Coming in at number not 18, my fault, is the f Red Stripe Angel. I'm kind of sorry, guys. Coming in at number 17 is the Scots Rass. Now, also, I really have, I, I just think all Rasses are really cool, specifically Fairy Rasses, and this one is absolutely stunning. I haven't seen it in person, that's, um, but the images do look pretty cool of it. It looks, I, I have, I don't know, I just think it's cool. Coming in at number 16 is the Cinnamon Clownfish. I mean, Clownfish gotta be up here because of this Dory. That's, I didn't want the number one, but the iconicness of it isn't weighted but it's just it's still here okay guys coming in at number 15 is the four stripe damsel coming in at number 14 is the green mandarin i had three of these they are almost impossible i mean i had code populate co co um pod pod copulation coat pod population all over my glass he ate all of that up and well and I'm, i i mean i didn't have a refugium because i was stupid but um I ended up adding refugium in them, and they're still so hard to take care of because of how sensitive they are to like everything. So I do recommend them, but I don't recommend them at the same time due to the fact that you have to be like a very, very expert to take care of them. Coming in at number 13 is the Azure Damsel. Actually, pretty cool fish, and they do school, and they have yellow and blue, and they're pretty shiny. So makes sense it's on here coming in at number 12 is a scissor tail goby i don't know how it's number 12 honestly the the, the scoring system is kind of bad but i'm giving you all a list of 100 fish this took hours of research hours of getting the images and like hours to just do the whole list and all that so give me some leniency there i just wanted to give you all the overall list you can look at them the things and see where they get dinged and where they're higher on i think personally he should have a lower exotic in his score but I think I gave him pretty low to begin with, it's just because of how good he is on everything else. Coming in at number 11 is a Tobacco Basslet. Coming in at number 10 is the Black Cat Basslet, pretty cool. Uh, Basslets are the same, like they're Royal Grandma type fish. Uh, just to make sure y'all know that, y'all probably do, but just giving it to y'all anyways. Uh, number 9 is the Blue Head Rass, very cool. Um, love the color scheme on it. Coming in at number 8 is the Orange Back Fairy Rass, an absolute beautiful fish, um, really deserves to be up here. Coming in at number 7 is the Coral Beauty Angel Fish, due to the fact they're not too aggressive. I call them semi-aggressive, if they're hungry they're obviously more aggressive. See mine is personally more peaceful, and then um, I went on a trip so I had to use the automatic feeder and it wasn't, it was a little bit hungry and more aggressive. So. They can get aggressive, but they are absolutely beautiful fish, and they're very interactive and active, as well as just cool fish, you know, like the color scheme, it's, it's beautiful. Coming in at number six is the Oscillarius Clownfish. I don't even, I mean, it's a cool fish, I'm not going to lie, but it, I kind of hated it because of Dory and ne Finding Nemo and all that, so that's where, because like, I mean, it's just, like, that's the one, like, everyone thinks about. You have, like, let's just say you have, like, a, a peppermint angelfish. But you have uh, Nemo in your tank, and they're gonna be like, "Oh my God, look at the Nemo!" They're not even gonna notice the. So that's just a little bit of annoying, but it is what it is. I mean, it's a cool fish, I guess. Very interactive, like this uh, basic saltwater fish. I think like everyone has one of these, but they um, do 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 better with um, anemones. Coming in at number five is the Catherine's Ras. I mean, just look at it. It's a very cool fish. Coming in at number four is the Exquisite Ras. Look at this one, even more so. I mean speaks for itself coming in at number three is the blue spotted jawfish these are really cool i actually um did have one uh yeah i do have one um so it's really cool uh it does it's, it's also kind of a sand type sifter thing so pretty cool on that spot coming in at number two is the marine beta i really want one of these dudes because they're actually so cute and like they're actually really nice looking um, personally one of my favorite fish but obviously number one as a puffer enthusiast is the blue spot puffer and these dudes are semi reef safe I mean mine has not picked out any of the corals um, I feed it uh, half every day 
so that's not a problem. It's not hungry enough to go eating my snails as well. If you keep it fed well enough, they're honestly not, they're completely reef safe. Like mine hasn't, it depends on the, the, the specimen, but they are completely reef safe if you get the right specimen and feed it enough. Really, it, it obviously depends. Like even if you feed some of them enough, like they'll still eat the stuff, cause why not? But mine is absolutely, I, I love puffers. Um, this is very interactive, very active, um, usually visible quite often in your tank, like almost all the time. With blue light, he looks absolutely amazing. Like his colors really pop, or is it, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now, white or blue. Um, and he's just an overall amazing fish. So thank y'all for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and, um, and join the Discord if y'all are still here at this point. I'm sorry for not posting in a while. This took a while to make. I needed to get all the details for all the fish. I might be off on a little bit of things because just the detail varies depending on what site you go to and what your sources are. Um, I mean, I really just wrote numbers down based on, I think, 10 for each category. There are seven different categories where they could have um, made points or obviously fallen down. I think the lowest one on here had like a rating of 30... Um, let me find it. It's uh, the flashlight fish had a rating of 35 in the end, so and that's on 70. So it, it's it, none of them are lower than half. But anyways, thank y'all for making it this far. Don't forget to subscribe, like, join the Discord, follow my Twitch, do all that. Maybe I'll, I'll start gifting when I monetize again. Uh, but yeah, so y'all are all legends, and just remember, have a great day, and continue to be in the pack squad. Peace.